and yeah, updates, a little bit of haul. Um, not a whole lot of stitching, but there has been some. Um, yeah, so yesterday we braved Westfield Shopping Centre. Uh, we had to go to Penrith for it, which is like a big Westfields. And we braved with the crowds to do our Christmas shopping. So it's done. It's absolutely done now. And of course, I bought stuff for myself because, yeah. Um, so I had to go to Lush to get my sister's present. Um, she's just getting gift vouchers. Um, and I picked up this hair treatment. Um, because my hair has been really shitty. That's why I'm wearing the hat. Is um, it's been really dry and knotty, and I bought this hair treatment from Pantene, and it'll, it, it's nice for a couple of days, and then it's just back to being shit. So, yeah, when I was a kid, um, mum used to have this treatment. It was like a henna treatment, and we just used to use it once every couple months, and it would be great, which was awesome because I used to have much longer hair. But yeah, my my go-to solution is to just cut my hair off and try not to. So I'm gonna try this one, and it's this is like twenty bucks. It's not lush is not cheap, um, but because I was buying other stuff as well, I couldn't afford to get the other stuff. So the guy there was like super lovely, and he gave me a sample. Um, and this one's a hair moisturizer. So yeah. But, yeah, the guy there was, like, super lovely. Like, the staff there is always really nice. And I had two of the girls come up, and they're just like, oh, my God, like, your hair is really awesome. And I'm like, oh, yeah, cool, thanks. And they're like, how do you get it to ombre so well? And I'm like, so they're like, what do you mean ombre? And, oh, because it sort of, like, goes green and then blue and then green and then blue again. And I'm like, oh, that's just because I haven't updated the dye. Like, I'm just going to put the green back through. And they're like, wait. That's just one colour? And I'm like, yeah, no, that's that's just, it's fading. And, Why doesn't my hair fade like that? That's not fair. I'm like, well, yeah, that's the way my hair fades. And we had Mad Max for lunch because it was awesome. Went to Spotlight as well on the way home, even though it didn't have to. I love this hat, but it's, I need to adjust. I need to stitch it at the back or something just to sort of make it fit a little bit better this is kind of loose um yeah so we went to spotlight and i i didn't i wasn't looking at any, anything in particular but i found some fabrics so this is like a little i love their off cut section but this time around i especially love their off cut section so i found this one it's cool i found this one Which is also quite cool, but I love the off cut section, especially yesterday. And my Spider Man radar paid off. See, I have this thing where I immediately pick up Spider Man things. Now, this bit of fabric, it's a big bit of fabric. This bit of fabric was right down the bottom of the off cuts thingy that they put all the offcuts in. Nobody would have seen it. I did. Because my Spider-Man radar. And like, my Spider-Man radar is pretty much that when I go past things, I immediately pick out the Spider-Man things they're having to look. Um, like I just instinctively know where they are. So, Spider-Man. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it, but I had to have it. And it was $6. And it's a big piece. So, yeah. Uh, what else did we do? Um, Riot Art, I bought a book and some stuff from Riot Art. Now Riot Art, I don't know why, but they have been in a perpetual 50% off sale for like the last six months. Um, I'm not complaining, it's awesome. So we have one in Penrith, so I went and bought a few things and I got this brush, which is I'll show off in a second, some scrapbooking letters, and three colouring books, and it cost me 20 bucks for all of these. So I am like stoked as hell. So yeah, this scrapbooking letters, they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, 
that's because I'm going to be starting scrapbooking. I have a scrapbook now. I have some papers and stuff. I'm gearing up to do some scrapbooking and I'm going to be scrapbooking about my cross stitching because I need it to be even dirtier. So this is a water brush. Um, so you screw this part off. Fill that bit with water up to the line. There's a little line on there so I'll cover it up. And put it back on. And then you get out your watercolours and stuff and you just do it that way. And you just paint with it. Um, and you can squeeze it to push a bit more water out. And it's got these really nice fine bristles on it. Um, they only had the one size in stock when I went in there. But I will go back at some point and get the other ones. But yeah. Not bad. They're usually like six bucks, so 50% off, three bucks. Okay. So the colouring books that I got, um, Positively Zen. So yeah, they had they had a few colouring books. Every time I go in there, they have different ones. Um, so there's a Sleepy Kitty, and there's some yoga sort of things and some birds. Um, some flowers, and some more birds, and some flowers, and some flowers, and these are cool, they're like bird scenes. They're really different, like they're kind of abstract. It's another sleepy kitty. And some flowers, oops, I went past. Again. I past there's some fish, there's a kidney sort of thing. Flowers and fish and flowers and flowers and fish and more sort of ones like that. I just thought these ones were kind of interesting and I was like, hey, it's like 50% off, screw it, let's just get something. Um, there's a funky hand. And birds and trees and flowers. Little whales. I thought that one was quite cute. And there's a pretty sun mandala thingy. But that's why I got it. Dragonflies! No one's surprised. Cats and dragonflies, it's it's happening. Um, so there's that one. Which will go onto my shelf. Which I really need to reorganize. I have pretty much a full shelf of coloring books now. Um, this one is Enchanting Motives. Um, these are all from the same series by the looks of it. So, um, my side is just playing up. Uh, sorry. So, cat. Cat. And just a wreath sort of thing. It's a seahorse and some fish. So it has a bee. I like bees. There's a horse. This one has some like dragonfly sort of things on there too. And there's pretty patterns. There's a fish. There's pretty patterns with flowers and some flowers. And there's like hidden cat things. Um, pretty patterns. More pretty patterns. What did I skip? I was also going to buy a colouring book from um, Typo, but they wanted $20 for it. And, and I kind of freaked out because one of the things I've noticed is if I'm out in the wheelchair um, and there's a small space and it's, there's a lot of people in it, or like people just not letting me get through and stuff like that, I freak out. So, some really nice butterflies. They're like floral butterflies. But yeah, I, I've noticed that I freak out more with crowds and people when I'm in the chair. Um, I think it's just because I get frustrated that people don't, people don't pay attention to where they're going when they're walking. They stop right in the middle of the walkway and, you know, they just block everything and they're ridiculous and I hate people. Um, 
And like when I'm in a small shop, I'm freaked out enough as it is because you gotta maneuver around things and like people put shit on the floor and all sorts of things. Like they don't they don't think about oh well, can someone in a wheelchair get through this? Um and yeah, they just they just don't think. And it gets it's it's kind of anxiety filling. It's not the right word, but you get what I mean. Um, so this one's Tribal Karma. I'm pretty sure I have this one in the book, but I don't even care. Um, some funky lions. Um, there's some feathers and some beads. Some more wolves. Well, that's a panther or something, I don't know. There's a cat. There's some feathers. And there's some funky fish. There's some patterns, and some feathers, and some patterns, and some tiki's. And there's some mandalas and some funky monkey looking things. Um, patterns and some eagle and a headrest. I don't know why it's in a headrest, but it's in a headrest. Some owls and another wolf and an eagle. There's an echidna. Yeah. There's a dream catcher. Some patterns. There's a scorpion. I almost called it a little lobster. Um, there's more patterns. There's an owl. And some turtles. And some patterns. And some bears. And yeah, some feathers and some other stuff. A wolf and a bear and a dream catcher and a big elephant. So, yeah, more coloring books. And then I also splurged on a book because I've heard really good things about this book, and I don't think it's going to be a good one to read as an ebook. Um, so, this is Illuminae, um, and it's by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Um, the reason I don't think this book is going to be a good one to read on ebook is because it's sort of written like case files, so there's like parts that are crossed out because they've been redacted, and um, things like photos and um, emails and all sorts of stuff, um, and like classified files and notes and, and all sorts of little things, and I, I just don't get like having a look at it, I don't think it's something that would be read well as an ebook. Not for me, anyway. Um, so yeah, I bought an actual copy. And like, look at this sort of stuff. You can't really do that on an ebook. And yeah, this looks really good. And it's um, this kind of does YA. I don't remember off the top of my head. But it's it's pretty hyped at the moment. It's fairly new. Um, I paid fourteen dollars for this, so you know, not not the cheapest, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be interesting. See, yeah, all sorts of different types of formatting and stuff like that, and yeah. I'm looking forward to it. So that is all the stuff that I bought for myself. It's not that much really, but yeah. So now I've just got to um, get some of the presents together. Like I've got some little bits and pieces that I got for my sister, like this little pin up necklace um, and like stuff like that that I've just got to put together. And Right on the gift vouchers and sort of make sure there's no price tags on things. Um, as for stitching, I'm just working on the Christmas carols frame and yeah, that's about it. Like I said, not much, but every little bit counts. Um, the rest of the day, I'm going to play some WoW and just do some random things. That's going to be my day. I'm going to 
maybe I'll stream for a bit, we'll see what happens. But that's it. I'll see you later.